Well, it's described as a life-altering storm for those who aren't prepared. That's coming from the National Weather Service. We're talking about Hurricane Ida, now a Category 1 storm, but expected to slam the Gulf Coast sometime tomorrow, maybe into the wee hours of Monday morning, uh, with winds in excess of 140 miles an hour. Uh, Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana joins us right now. Senator, thank you for taking the time. Well, this looks like a monster, Senator. Neil. Now, it's hitting St. Mary's Parish, uh, an important parish, but it's further west than Jefferson Parish and Orleans and the what we, what we call the river parishes. So the, the maximum strength hurricane winds will be a little bit further west than the more populated areas. Again, we're worried about Morgan City, but, but, but it gives a little bit of... Um, uh, a little bit of respite, if you will, to those more po those more densely populated areas. You know, it all comes under this, what, the 16th anniversary of Katrina. Of course, we all remember that one. Uh, and, and already we're getting indications of that no no one is taking this lightly. But, but for those who are, it might be already too late to evacuate. Um, I, I'm wondering what, what the latest orders are, what people are being urged to do. Well, of course... It depends upon your locality. So I'm just telling folks, whatever your local officials say to do, please do. And a couple other pieces of advice, Neil. Um, more people died from Hurricane Laura from carbon monoxide poisoning than from wind damages or flooding or you name it. So, so one thing for folks to realize, if your electricity goes down, don't bring that generator in. Push it away from the window, because sometimes the fumes come in through the window and they can cause carbon monoxide poisoning. So not just be prepared, but in your preparation, think about the consequences of where you place things such as generators. If you don't mind, I'd, I'd like to address the other storm and the one that is the, 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 the violent one going on in Afghanistan right now, Senator. Um, we took out this ISIS-K a fighter. That's what we're told. We don't know all the details of this drone attack. Um, it looks like, according to our Jackie Heinrich, uh, that the strike was against a, a fighter or a figure, an ISIS-K figure, who was planning future attacks, not necessarily behind the Thursday attacks. Bottom line, he's dead, but, but th there's a growing concern and the terror threats are still out for a follow-up attack. This is clearly impacting the, you know, the evacuation effort? Are you worried that it will slow it to a crawl and many more people who want to get out will not get out now? I think it's already slowed it to a crawl. I was on a call this morning with uh, uh, someone, again, the connection is to a group of people in Afghanistan who have their papers to get out, who have been, have a flight that will take them and a country that will accept them in Europe. But they, and they are beyond the Taliban checkpoint but they can't get into the airport itself. And so what ISIS-K has done has already stopped the flow of folks who need to get out. Um, uh, it's just one more sorry chapter in a, in a sorry set of events that have been initiated by President Biden's decision to withdraw in the way, in the way we have. Do you think we should extend that deadline, that August 31st deadline? I don't, know that, I don't know what the security is on the ground. The safety of our troops and the American citizens is paramount. It may be that after uh, August 31st, that safety cannot be guaranteed. Um, uh, we really have a bad hand here, again, created by the way the president uh, uh, decided to do this, the planning of it, and the poor execution of the planning. Uh, that said, uh, if we can extend the deadline safely and get more Americans out because there might still be some left, uh, those of our allies and those who helped us while we were there, then I would support that. Um, you know, we, we generally skew politics and, and what you make of it here, but many of your Republican colleagues have been uh, saying that this warrants uh, President Biden to be impeached. He's so badly bungled this that, that he should go. What do you think of that? Well, uh, it would be up to the House to decide if this is a high crime or misdemeanor. But just a couple practical things. Now, speaking as a conservative, uh, Kamala Harris would become president, and a lot of folks are very nervous because she's clearly one of the more li one of the most liberal senators. Uh, I think, by one estimation, more liberal than Bernie Sanders when she was in the Senate. So I do think we have to think that through. 
Uh, it also seems unlikely that Speaker Pelosi would impeach President Biden. Uh, but on the other hand, the frustration that this is expressing, the kind of uh, uh, incompetence associated with this, the incompetence at the control in the U.S.-Mexican border, and the high rate of inflation, and now they're pushing for this $3.5 trillion package, which will further worsen inflation, I think that has uh, the American people very disturbed about this presidency. Um, Republicans are also claiming that this would have never happened un under Donald Trump, even though he wanted to leave earlier and struck this deal to begin with, with the Taliban. Do you buy that? That's an imponderable. We will not know this. On the other hand, we do know there were, there were some tactical decisions made in this withdrawal by this administration that made it worse. For example, among, among those who were first withdrawn were those that were providing maintenance for the flight crews that gave the Afghani army air superiority over the Taliban. Once the Afghani army lost that air superiority, it, 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 their, collapse, their collapse began. Hmm. And so, so how the withdrawal was handled uh, was, uh, uh, again, almost program failure. Uh, how the Trump okay. administration would have handled that, we don't know. We can't know. That's a theoretical. You're right about that. All right, Senator, thank you very much. Very good seeing you here.